I'm out here today at a construction site and they haven't been working in the last couple days and I'm pretty sure you can figure out why it's so muddy out here we've had nothing but rainstorm after rainstorm and I figured I'd come back out here and it's a nice quartz rock oh my goodness that could be part two arrowhead but anyway I figured I'd come back out here and see if I can find anything there used to be old house site over there on that hill and we're gonna try to get all the relics we can before this place is gone let's go get them just made the first find of the day it's an iron horse buckle that's what it looks like it's pretty cool right beside the house foundation they keep moving it there's the remains last time I was here it was over there so no telling what they've dug up this time a piece of glass I may find a marble I haven't found one of them in a while I just found this on top of the ground and I have no idea what it is but it looks Native American that is really awesome it's a rock but for it to be perfectly shaped like that is strange I'm gonna keep it somebody will know what it is Wow that could be something very rare there's no telling we'll put it in the pouch and keep on going I just eyeballed a bottle right there broken one but... yep old cork top bottle we'll look around here some more and see if we can eyeball anything else I just located a pretty good signal down here I'm in a big mud puddle right now, so it's going to be difficult digging this hole. It's right here. Right at 90. Now somebody could have threw their soda can in here, or it could be something really good. Sounds pretty shallow. We'll set that down and get the pro pointer out. It's right there. Oh, there it is. Just a aluminum can or piece to aluminum can. A wheel. Never know. Pro pointer's all muddy. I guess it's off there. Clean it off a little bit so we can put it back in my holster. Well, I guess we'll keep on going. See if we can locate any more. That was it. Could be something there. It's got a grunt in it. That's iron. We'll leave it there. There's a nail. 27. You'd think there'd be some arrowheads out here. Iron. Oh, there it is. You see that? Oh, I think it's a ring. It sure is. It's an old brass ring. Looks like it was gold plated at one time. That is very neat. Could even have writing on the inside. We'll have to clean it up a little bit more later. That was a great find. We'll recheck the hole to make sure there's nothing else in there. Not sure what this is, but it has a number six on it. It's made out of solid brass. It's really cool. It's like something attached inside of it there. really good signal down here and it has to be the best signal I've heard all day it's showing up like a 87 and I think it's going to be something good haven't even dug it yet 
It's a solid hit. Can't pick it up too far in the air. Well, a little bit. So it could be something big. But it's right at 87 to a 90. Just a mason jar lid. Man, I thought it was going to be something better than that. I missed it though, so there could be more here. We'll keep on searching. Just a piece of iron. Here it is. Put it in the pouch and keep on going. That could be a coin. Let's dig it real quick. Oh, I see it. I think it is a coin. Oh, look at that. It's right there. No way. It looks like a large scent. It's about the size of one. That's it. You can hear it through my headphones. Oh, wow. No, I think it's silver. Oh, you got to be kidding me. No, it's too light for silver, though. It looks like silver, but it's very lightweight. I don't know. I guess I'll clean it off real quick with some water. Well, it's some type of aluminum token. Not exactly sure what it says. I have to clean it up a little bit more when I get home. It's in very bad condition. I just got a 53 signal down here and turns out it's a nice tomback button. It's broken, but I'll take that. That's one of the older finds that I've dug out of here. I just rechecked that hole where I found the tomback button and I was getting another signal in there showing up like a 53 and check out what it is. I haven't even touched it yet, but it's right there. It looks like it's going to be a buffalo nickel. Let's see. Yep, that's exactly what it is. That's a nice buffalo nickel, too. The same hole as the tomback button. That's kind of funny. That's why you have to always recheck your holes. There's something else in the hole. It's showing up really high in the 80s. But it could be iron. I'm going to keep digging it out. That's weird. Three things in the same hole. Probably a plow part, but you never know. I'm down there about 11 inches. Oh, here it is. Wow, that's funny. A piece of iron off something. I think that's it. We'll cover it in and check around it just to make sure. Dirt's finally starting to dry up today. Sun came out for about two hours. Wants to stick to your shovel. Ooh, sounds good, don't it? It's in my hand. Ah, oh, it is a coin. You see it? Oh man, this may be something good. I think it's just a wheat penny. It had to be an old one though. This is a really old site. Let's clean it off a little bit. It looks like 1912. It's hard to tell with the camera, but I think that's what it is. Sweet! That's an old wheat penny. There may be some more. Let's recheck the hole. Just eyeballed something here. It's right on top. I don't know if you can see it. It's a porcelain button really cool heading back to the truck now looks like it's going to downpour any minute there's a little bit of thunder there's probably a lot of arrowheads out here I just haven't found them yet I parked over here here's my finds from yesterday had a pretty decent hunt I stayed out for about three hours in the mud. Dug a couple shotgun shells. This one's an Indian. RHA company. I thought that was pretty cool. I found a few of them before. Now I haven't cleaned the rest of them up. That one looks like a Federal. I probably have some UMC new clubs in there. Here's some old pottery. I bought it and I figured I'd 
put it in my pouch. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. But you find a lot of this around old house sites, especially turn of the century places. Not sure what this is. It's heavy duty. Looks like it broke off of something bigger. There's no telling. Stuff people lost back in the day. It was made good. There's the old little buckle. Have another one over here. This one probably went off a horse saddle. Not sure what this thing is. It's made out of brass. It has a number six on it, or it could be a number nine, depends on which way you want to hold it. But something went in there and bolted down at one time. So it's pretty cool. Somebody will know what it is. Solid brass. That right there is part two of suspender clip. Uh, found a buffalo nickel. You don't have a date on it though, but still, it's a great find. And also a 1915D wheat scent. Here's that time back button I found. That's one of the older finds from that site. These buttons were produced in the mid to late 1700s, so that's really cool. Back to a pocket watch. Also found a little ring and. The token turned out to be a Woodman of the World life insurance token. And it says coin test on the bottom there. Must have been some type of token they gave to members. So I thought that was pretty cool. Also found a brass tip off the end of a buggy shaft for a horse and buggy. And this right here goes off of an old bucket. It's the bracket that would attach to the side of the wood bucket and the handle would go in that little slot and over time of you know carrying heavy stuff in the bucket it wore a bigger hole in the brass and I'll show that to you right over here here's a picture of old wooden bucket and you can see there's the same thing on the side there and the handle is attached to it and that's a pretty neat find and I will get the buggy shaft piece and show you where that went on a horse and buggy it attached right there on the end and then you have your reins guide up here there's an example of that they detach up top so just a little bit of history there also found a piece to a broken arrowhead that would have been nice complete now, I'm not sure if this rocks Native American it could just be a normal old rock, but either way, I'll probably still keep it. That's pretty much all my finds. I hope y'all enjoyed the hunt. Thanks for watching, and God bless.